Hey guys, so we are here at a familiar location to you and I wanted to show you something special to me which is this house and basically this location in general because um, my father was actually born here and uh, uh, this is actually not a new house but it's a house that he made based on the original style of the house in those days so we're talking about uh, 50 to 100 years ago uh, it is slightly smaller to the house that was originally here and uh, where also my father and the rest of uh, his uh, brothers and sisters were born but it still represents kind of what what was the situation let's say what was the what was available at that time of course we have some modern stuff here that doesn't really belong but uh, we uh, he wanted to make this house as well um, let's say the old ways so we can remember how it used to be as well as uh, practical for let's say uh, like picnic or to do something in the winter time uh, and things like that so he made it based on the old style adding some new technologies such as the stove <laughs> or something like that in uh, so um, first of all i would like to say a few words about what this uh, what was the life uh, let's say 50 to 100 years ago so how my father grew up he was one of the 12 children believe it or not actually uh, i should say uh, 12 children are born in the previous house to this one in this location because at that time not all children survived uh, and um, and uh, there were basically uh, his father my father's father had uh, two, two uh, wives first one died uh, and the uh, first one had uh, two children and the second one had ten children so he was tenth in a row so eight from the second uh, wife and uh, the life over here of course was you had to be hard working uh, <laughs> the whole family uh, that was at home had to fit in this house of course there was a barn and uh, animals uh, uh, cows and pigs like that uh, but uh, still this was the house they used and the actual let's say living room was about like this always uh, of course as i mentioned before not all kids always were at home they were out uh, what it's called serving that's i'm not sure that's the correct trans translation to english but basically they went to another family to uh, work there and to get food for that and of course a uh, place to sleep and yeah so this is how people used to live and this is very dear to me because uh, my father got this because he was uh, he's currently the only male so the only man that uh, is still living from that family and uh, three sisters also um, and he got this uh, land and then he built this memory and for me it, of course it really really means a lot not only because i get to go shoot here but because simply it's uh, uh, let's say once uh, what once was uh, a home and basically the whole world to uh, a whole family uh, is now a, like a shelter for for you to run away from the away from the city not, not that i really live in a big city but still there is no one here you're completely alone uh, you have you can do anything you like uh, you have a small place you can build fire you can bake bread which is actually what i'm gonna prepare and do right now uh, and uh, do anything you like have picnics have parties uh, things like that i come here as often as i can with uh, family or friends uh, well i don't do it as much as i used to, of course because uh, Time is not on my hand anymore as it used to be, uh, but still, uh, it's uh, it's very very dear to my heart. So uh, previously this year uh, I made a video that you could see how it looks from outside with a drone, and now uh, 
I'm going to give you an inside tour. So let's go from the beginning. Everything is made. This is actually 20 years old, so it's not uh, old. Everything of this, my father made. Of course, right now here is my junk because, uh, <laughs> of course, if I go here, I intend to shoot as well. Actually, earlier I just heard uh, some hunters uh, and saw some wild pigs and they were hunting uh, them here. So, really nice clock. Uh, my father otherwise uh, used to make uh, barrels for wine and now he, let's say, his carpenter is and he's sharpening tools. That is what he does. Uh, he's a little older now. So, here are some old pictures. This, I believe, uh, this was my father, this is the youngest sister, and this is the middle brother. So this is actually the youngest uh, three, no, sorry, I'm not sure. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is actually the youngest three of the family. And here is also my father with the puppy and uh, uh, someone from my family, but I'm not sure, sure who, the, the young one. So a couple of old pictures and then what was called the uh, living room or just they, they call it just the house so basically over here you had first of all you had the bed and you had uh, the uh, furnace so basically over here it was warm unlike other places now, of course that goes for the winter time this is not original of course this small uh, small uh, what do you call it uh, uh, store or I don't know uh, uh, is only there because the big one actually takes about four to five hours to get warm once you start a fire in it. Of course, you start the fire from the other location. I will show you that later. Uh, and uh, this small one is uh, this is actually not a water boiler. This is actually a chimney which is larger, so it has a bigger surface area, and so meaning that once you place a fire in here. This gets very hot and it gets warm inside really, really fast. Of course, the whole house is made out of wood, so uh, it's quite uh, uh, quickly warm inside because there is now not uh, no concrete mass or anything like that outside to uh, keep it uh, the same temperature. So, uh, yeah, so this is not original. This is what my father built in because you don't get here always to be, let's say, a whole day or a whole night. Um, and it's uh, nice to get warm faster. So when I come here, I usually first uh, set a fire in here and then afterwards in here. And then if I'm here long enough, then this is what my main uh, source of heat is. All the furniture here was actually made out of um, um, walnut. So as you can see, it's really, really beautiful. The light is not really uh, nice in here right now, but still it's clearly seen that uh, the difference in, te in texture. Of course, this is all natural look, so no pigment added to it, just a lacquered. And the bed is a pull-out style, so basically you have one more bed underneath. Of course, it pulls out even further. But uh, the children in those days, those days mostly slept uh, in the uh, in either the attic of the house or even in the uh, outside uh, where with the an not with the animals but uh, on top of the animals basically of course now it's winter time actually it's just uh, a day after christmas and uh, so it's quite uh, uh, cold outside it's about zero degrees or maybe a little less so here is what i mentioned here is what where where the fire is and over here is also where you make bread so bake bread or uh, cook or even you can even make pizzas inside actually this is the best way to make pizzas and we do that also sometimes if we have uh, like a, a picnic here or a party or something like that so this can be closed with, with this and it's not in use and when it is in use uh, it's uh, one of the most efficient way to burn wood because um, most furnaces uh, the air is still hot when it is going up the chimney. So uh, this is built such a way that uh, I'm going to get a flashlight so you can see this better. I think I have it here. Yeah. 
So it's built in a way that the air is completely cool before it goes in the chimney. So the chimney is actually up here. So this middle part that I'm shining a light in right now. So basically uh, when the fire is on, we usually have this like this to have a very small gap for air. And then the air goes inside towards the fire. It lifts up and then going around this curved part so around this part into the chimney so by the time you can see some uh, smoke right now coming back of course the fire is almost out now because I just woke up and uh, uh, I didn't put anything on during the night <laughs> um, so uh, the smoke is almost completely uh, cold when it uh, is going outside and it's really it's efficient this way so the air goes in in the bottom and goes uh, burns and goes up and goes out and up to the chimney over here so uh, and of course the let's not forget the efficiency that is because uh, uh, you are using the same thing to heat the place and to cook and to do basically everything that requires heat so of course also this shower this is not original people didn't used to have showers in the homes but otherwise the kitchen is small but you have everything you need uh, at first uh, there was no plumbing at early days later on there was also with electricity she said even further out there was no electricity and then after uh, after let's say the 70s 80s uh, this place got electricity also despite the fact that uh, the electricity was already there in uh, cities or let's say bigger areas uh, so of course again the toilet <laughs> didn't used to be here uh, there was uh, the toilet was outside usually and uh, of course uh, having this to be practical uh, my father everything built everything inside but basically this is just a small basement got the main things in here pump for water and things like that so that's about it um, if you're watching this at the time uh, at the time I released it hopefully I will be uh, I will release it before New Year's it should be somewhere between Christmas and New Year so uh, thanks for watching uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year for everyone and uh, thank you and see you in the next video Okay, so I'm preparing the oven, the furnace for bread. So a very big fire now because I need to heat it up and then when it burns down, I will move it away and um, uh, put the bread directly in the middle of the oven. with the middle with no fire and the middle part is where the bread is going to go okay so we're gonna put the bread inside the oven so I'm trying to film this so sorry if I 
if the shot is not as perfect as it should be. I'm going to light the camera like this while I do this. The bread looks perfect. Come. Okay. And we're going to the oven with it. Doing this single-handedly, which is kind of dangerous. <laughs> we got the light here and another camera. So let's put this in like this. Oh, sorry. Like this. And let's put it in. Okay, let's get the, the other one. So I'll be baking two of them at the same time. Oh, they're perfect. This is um, similar as uh, getting it in quite open art to get it out. Which I failed at right now. So I have to improvise. if it's done it's to sort of knock on it so let's try to do that it should sound hollow so I guess I guess it's there so let's put the other one out cheat again and use two tools
Well, that's some hollow, so I guess we're done. So what we'll do next now is uh, place them on their back, so the there is minimal surface contact with the with the uh, board be uh, beneath, and that way they will be able to cool better, not not condense the moisture. So we'll check in again later. Okay, time to cut the bread. So I'll save this one for home and I'll start this one. Now for my parents, which are the source of my knowledge, they would say I have to bake them a little longer. And I'm sure hoping that they were not right in this case because I, I would hate to bring a raw <laughs> uh, uh, bread to, to them. But generally I prefer it a little less toasty than they do. So let's start this one and see how this on the inside. So the inside looks perfect. There is a huge crust. The sound is perfect. Let's taste it. Really good. Really nice. Could use maybe a little bit more salt. Now as usually, I tend to forget one thing to put inside. Now, this has always been the case and this time I forgot to put in oil. But <laughs> it's not that big of a factor and this bread is still excellent. Really crunchy. Mm. Thanks for watching guys. Mm, bye. Now you know why I'm this big. <laughs> <laughs>